Let's talk about WrestleMania 17. There were two... Uh, I mean, Triple H didn't have a match for a long time at WrestleMania. The original plan for The Undertaker would be Undertaker and Kane taking on Rikishi and Haku at WrestleMania 17, which, I mean, to think about that now is just (laughs) grim. (laughs) But this left Triple H without a match. There was an idea for Triple H versus Shawn Michaels uh, to go back to that, but Shawn was no condition to perform. He ended up even coming to TV the week before WrestleMania uh, to be involved in the Undertaker match that ended up happening with Triple H and Sean was kind of passed out in the back. Yeah. So the Michaels match wasn't possible. And then Hulk Hogan was an idea. Hogan had already kind of been done with WCW. They were negotiating with him. But when Hogan found out that the plan was for him to come in at WrestleMania 17 and lose to Triple H, he, uh, he said, that doesn't work for me, brother. And uh, maybe, maybe others should have... Followed Mr. Hogan. Um, and then the other idea was, you know, who's WWF had a good relationship with before? Who can bring eyes onto the product? Mike Tyson. A boxing match with Mike Tyson and Triple H. So what a weird thing that is. Those three scenarios. Talk me through the three scenarios and how you think they would have played out if you think they'd been any good. And are any of them better than what we got with Undertaker and Triple H? I mean, the Sean match could have been because obviously when they did it in... Yeah, 2002, yeah, it was tremendous. But that was a different Shawn Michaels. You know, in 2001, he was in a bad place. I think I think if Shawn Michaels had come back in 2001, he probably wouldn't be alive today, to be honest. Uh, I think he would have succumbed to those demons because he wouldn't have had that sort of moment where he was abandoned by everybody. Because I think it was after he was passed out. and Because, and, you know, he's, he's talked about this and they've talked about it. I think it was after he was passed out and just embarrassed you know, Hunter that he was just like, I'm I'm done with I'm done with you. I can't be around you, you know. And and I think that probably played a part in Sean eventually getting help. I know Sean sort of said it was, you know, his wife and, and kid and stuff as well, but I think it was probably a combination of things. And and if he'd come back and got back in the wrestling way and not, you know, found himself and, and changed himself and and whatever else he did, I, I think yeah, I think it could have been a tragedy. So it's probably for the best that that didn't happen but purely from a wrestling perspective as a match i'm sure it would have been great if sean was fit and healthy um would it have been better than taker i don't know probably yeah probably i mean the tyson boxing match sounds like a pile of shit doesn't it <laughs> like who'd want to see that though but i mean the thing is triple h would have wanted to win wouldn't he oh, I'm gonna be what, would, tyson what would tyson call him i will 3h he'd have called him something wacky triple Triple H's or something, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the boxing <laughs> matches in wrestling are always dreadful. Like they're always dreadful. And, and Triple H, can you imagine him in boxing gloves? And it would have been so weird. Like he'd be ready to play the game. But Triple H is only agreeing to something like that if he's winning, surely, because he's smarter than that. I think we're seeing why a couple of these didn't work. Tyson yeah. Hogan, we're not going to lose, so these were not going to work. Yeah. 